Hello loves, this is your girl Lynn here with Bohemian Heart Tarot, back to bring you guys another video. So tonight I wanted to tap into the energy of love for this week, which is August, what's today, the 26th, um, all the way to until Sunday. So we're going to go Monday, today is Monday, Monday to Sunday, okay? All right, a little offering to the ancestors, spirit gods that are helping me to divine and pick up on your energy. And also, look at this. I was gifted this by my beautiful sister, Monica. So I'm just in heaven. I haven't even switched into it yet um, out of my current cosmetic bag because I don't want to mess it up. So I'm like, I don't even want to put anything in it because I don't want to mess it up. But I'm forever grateful and very very excited so thank you thank you thank you thank you to everybody that donated um to the channel on the last live i'll do the shout out for you all on the next live but as always i am grateful and appreciative okay so thank you guys so much so i'm gonna do um all four elements so i'm going to do air first um, to just kind of switch everything up. So air, this week, what is going on? What is going on in the kitchen? <laughs> this week air, what is going on in areas of love for you? What do you need to focus on manifesting in areas of love, okay? So um, getting to know the new you, so wow. So a lot of you guys have um, been going through a shift and you're cracking open, um, you're removing layers of yourself and you're getting down to the nitty gritty of things and you're trying to determine who you are now in this new energy. So in matters of love, there could be a lot of self-expression or a lot of, um, you know, working on releasing some things getting to um the inner knowledge of yourself um yeah leaping into a new um energy a lot of you are moving into a new energy it says you are rare and free there are not many like you. And again, this deck was donated to the channel. So um, I'm forever grateful. All right. <clears throat> and one last card says nature, nurture. No, sorry. Nature, communication, flower energies, fairy energies, and elemental messengers. So you are getting messages from spirit. You could also be communicating with spirit. Um let's tap into some of the energies around you and um get some energy there so show me three energies around aquarius gemini and libra this week Airy, um zodiacs of possible love interest so we have earth we have pluto energy we have more air energy okay and we have Taurus energy I asked for three but I, I just want to keep pulling to, until I got to some um, energy so Pisces energy okay and Gemini wow do look at how synchronistic this is earth Taurus Pluto Pisces air gemini when i tell you guys it doesn't get any more lined up than this so you guys could very well have some very lined up energies everything is lining up for you synchronicity um as you're removing layers of your old self and you're getting to know who you truly are you're becoming free okay because it says here you are rare and free and right here it says who in the world are you so if there's been a sense of um, you living your life with someone else or, you know, being at someone else's um, beck and call I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Someone trying to control you, okay, and maybe hold you back. Let's see one card from Archangel Michael. What do you need to know about love this week that will help you to move forward? Yep. Have confidence, okay. 
So some of you could be lacking the confidence. And here's a prayer for Archangel Michael. Um, Archangel Michael is one of my very favorite angels to work with. Okay. So have confidence. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And use your imagination and you'll see the answer. I definitely feel like the imagination goes with nature communication. Um, admit the truth to yourself that you are rare and free. And then have the confidence to discover who you are and to peel back those layers. And that's what this sword that Archangel Michael carries does. This sword will penetrate, for example, that egg that she's holding. Okay? So I definitely feel like um, all of your energies are lined up. And I'm looking on the bottom of the, de the deck just for confirmation. And you have a favorable outcome. And those scales are going to be balanced. So, especially if you are a Libra, this is going to be profound for you because Libras definitely seek balance. Okay, but I do feel like all air sign energy that's on this board, <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, <clears throat> is striving to be in a positive place, to do things from a positive place. So this week in love, I feel like you're going to be focused a lot on your own energy. Let's see, this earth sign energy. You could be getting some truth around an earth sign if that's who you're dealing with, a Taurus or any earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. All right, Pisces and Pluto. I feel like you could be um, having communication issues with them. The nature communication could also help you balance the things that you're trying to strive to move towards with um with that pisces energy did i say pisces originally okay and then um with the other air energy this could be a happy outcome okay so yeah so i do feel like someone that um is around you yeah because we have the empress on the bottom of the deck so a lot of you are finding out and discovering who you are and taking charge. You're walking in your truth. You know, you guys are, um, you're growing and discovering yourself. Um, and you're walking in your power because the Empress is all four queens put together. So I definitely feel like that's the energy that I'm picking up here. <clears throat> 